Hello and welcome to the GCSE Physics tutorial for topic P8 Space Physics. This is part two and we'll look at the life cycle of a star and the expanding universe. First of all the life cycle of a star. What happens during the life cycle of a star depends on how big the star is. There's two different pathways that you'll need to know. First of all all stars start as a cloud of dust and gas called a nebula and the force of gravity pulls that dust and gas together to form a protostar. Hydrogen nuclei then join together to form helium nuclei and this releases a lot of energy. The temperature is also increasing as well. This is a reaction called nuclear fusion. You will have heard of this before in the radiation topic. The star will now enter a stable period where it increases in temperature and will burn for millions of years as a main sequence star. So this is the stage at which our sun is at. What happens next depends on the size of the star. So for a star that is the size of our sun, when the hydrogen runs out, the star expands and the surface cools. And it will now start to become something called a red giant. The outer layer of the dust and gas is then ejected and that leaves behind a hot, dense solid core called a white dwarf. And eventually it will cool down and give out less and less energy until it's not giving any energy anymore and become a black dwarf. If it is a larger star it becomes a red supergiant. Then it will undergo more nuclear fusion and expand and contract several times and eventually explode to form a supernova and at this point it will eject new elements such as iron into the universe to produce new planets and stars. What's left behind is a very dense core called a neutron star and if it's big enough that's pulled inwards to become a black hole. So there is evidence that supports the theory that the universe is expanding and galaxies are moving away from us and away from each other. One of the, the evidence that supports this is called the red shift. The red shift says that light from distant galaxies has a longer wavelength. The wavelengths have shifted towards the red end of the spectrum and this supports the theory that stars are moving away from us. Further galaxies have more of a red shift so they're moving away faster. Another piece of evidence is a Big Bang theory. This theory suggests that at first all matter was in a small space that got really hot and exploded and that explosion then triggered everything to start expanding and keep expanding and moving away. If you pause the tutorial now and try and answer these two questions. So the main stages of a star the same as our sun would be nebula, protostar, main sequence star, red giant, white dwarf, black dwarf. What's the red shift theory? Well, red light has the longest wavelength and violet the shortest. That's in the spectrum. If a source of light, like a star, is moving away towards the red end of the spectrum, the wavelength appears longer. The red shift in light from a star shows that the distance between us and the star is increasing. The bigger the red shift, the faster the star is moving away. So this supports the theory that the universe is expanding. In summary, we've looked at the life cycle of a star and the expanding universe.